In this video, we're going to take a look at the addition of fractions having different denominators. This means that the bottoms of both fractions are different from one another. We're going to start off by taking a look at an example. Our instructions, just like the last video, is add and write your answer in lowest terms. Here's our question. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6. We want to get this into a common denominator before we can add them together because we don't know how to add denominators together. It just doesn't work. So we're going to be looking for the lowest common multiple of both 3 and 6. And the way I can do this is I can start listing multiples of 3 and 6. So i got 3, 6, 9, 12, and I can go on and on and on forever, but I don't need to. Um, I'm going to do this exact same thing for 6. And I know i got 6, 12. I can keep going on and on already, but I notice that this is 6. So we know we can put these both into terms of being over 6 as our denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. Luckily, one of these is really easy. Our 1 over 6 stays as 1 over 6. If I want to go 1 over 3 into terms of over 6, that means I'm going to have to double the numerator and the denominator get, to get it there. So I'm thinking times 2 here, times 2 here. That's so what I do to the top. I have to do to the bottom. Uh, 1 times 2 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6. So now we have common denominators, and we can do exactly what we had done before. I can rewrite this as an addition statement over the original denominator. So I can go 2 plus 1 over 6. I can complete that addition statement. 2 plus 1 is 3 over 6. And I need to be checking for lowest terms, which I am not in at this point. 3 and 6, pretty quick to identify that our uh, greatest common factor is 3. So I'm going to divide the top by 3. I'm going to divide the bottom by 3. And I'm going to get 1 over 2. And this would be my final answer in this case. Let's take a look at another example quickly. In this example, we're going to be looking at 1 over 10 plus 4 over 5. So again, I'm looking for that least common multiple or lowest common multiple um, for 10. I have 10, 20, and I can continue going on. For 5, I have 5, 10, 15, and I can continue going on. But I should recognize pretty quickly that this lowest common multiple is going to be 10 for these two numbers. So I'm going to be turning them both into terms of over 10. Luckily, 1 over 10 is already in the fraction with a denominator of 10. Um, 4 over 5 is a bit trickier. I know to get ten, 5 to be a 10, I have to multiply it by 2. So what I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. I'm going to multiply 4 by 2 as well. 4 times 2 gives me an 8. 5 times 2 gives me a 10. And now I'm right back to doing simple fraction addition. And I know that 1 plus 8 is 9 over 10. And in this case, we're checking to see if we're in lowest terms just so happens that 9 over 10 is in lowest terms because no other common factors go in except for 1. And that's how we know that we're in lowest terms. Let's summarize the steps really quickly. So follow the following steps to add two fractions with different denominators. Find a common denominator for both fractions. Secondly, rewrite the original addition statement with the equivalent fractions using common denominators. Third, write both numerators as an addition statement above the original denominator. This is similar to the original addition that we've done before. And number four, we're going to complete the addition statement in the numerator. And last but not least, we're going to put our final answer into lowest terms. 